This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard. The whole thing is available on all major podcast providers. Boris Johnson has dramatically told Britain to prepare for a no-deal Brexit after a bust-up with Brussels on trade talks. The Prime Minister put the country on notice that its EU departure at the end of the transition period on December 31st could be without a trade deal with the European bloc. That could leave businesses facing tariffs and quotas to trade with the European bloc and transport delays could see some food shortages. Our Deputy Political Editor Nicholas Cecil spoke to the Evening Standard's Bonnie Christian. So Nick, what happened today and were we expecting it? This was a bit of a surprise, this announcement by Boris Johnson. It appeared that the EU and the government were coming to an arrangement to continue talks next week on a trade deal. But there seems to be a difference in stance taken by the EU leaders and the European Commission. The EU leaders, um, probably egged on by Emmanuel Macron, basically stiffened the stance of the European bloc and particularly over the, the route over fishing. This led to a response from Mr Johnson threatening to walk away from the talks. Why has this decision been made completely out of the blue? Boris Johnson had set a deadline of October the 15th for a breakthrough um, in the negotiations in order for them to continue. This has not happened, basically. It looked like there was going to be some words agreed for, for them to continue rather than to pull the whole house of cards down now. And one of the British demands was an intensification of the talks. This had been proposed and floated around Brussels. But when the summit conclusions came out, there was no mention of that. The government in Britain responded by saying that we were going to start to prepare now for a no deal. So does this mean a deal is completely off the table? No, it certainly doesn't mean that. It could mean that. But what happened literally an hour after Boris Johnson had made his statement is that the European Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen, tweeted that a team from Brussels would be heading to London to intensify the talks. And this was a key British demand. So it looks like there's been a political spat between the leaders at political level, but now that the officials are trying to keep the show on the road. If we are to leave without a deal, what are the big knock-on effects of that that we could see here in the UK? Economically, they could potentially be catastrophic. You're certainly talking about businesses facing tariffs and also quotas. There could also be food shortages, some food shortages, particularly fresh food shortages in the UK for for weeks. Even before this threat of a no deal erupted at lunchtime, the boss of Tesco's was saying that there could be some food shortages if there literally is no deal then obviously the likelihood of those would increase dramatically. Shortly after Mr Johnson spoke, that the pound fell against the euro, which is a a, a sign of of concerns. The next step is really the meeting next week to see whether the EU negotiators and the British negotiators can make a breakthrough. The meeting may not happen, but it looks like it will happen. And it's in both sides' interest to strike a deal. Both will play hardball and often... Agreements are really only reached at five minutes to midnight when both parties are staring into the abyss and they they know that unless they reach a deal now, things could get very, very messy. These talks have been stalled for months now with either side not really budging at all. Is there any sense of what the outcome could be? No, it's too hard to tell. Given the economic damage that a no deal could cause, and Boris Johnson will be fully aware of this, and Michael Gove is, you would expect a deal to be reached. But EU leaders think they've got the stronger hand and so will try and really go for the best deal possible for them. And that will put pressure and strain on the British government because they really don't want to make many more concessions, especially with so many hardline Brexiteers in the Tory party.